from the Zane Scholars Arena, it's time for the Inter-University Battle of Brains. This is the 2009 Zane Africa Challenge. And now, here's the man with the question, Walimu John Sibiot Kumu. Hello and welcome to the Zane Africa Challenge 2009. Africa's International Inter-University Question and Answer Championship. This year, 32 teams have earned the right to compete through their national qualifying tournaments. They'll be answering questions on current affairs, science, sports, literature, history, geography, pop culture, and indeed, more besides. This season, we welcome teams from West Africa. So our players have come from Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia. That makes eight. They're taking part in a 31-game knockout tournament. That is win and stay, lose and leave, but never empty-handed. Time now for the introductions. In this round one game, entering from my right, is the Zane Scholars team from Kenyatta University, Kenya. Alba Gicheha, Dadia, Telecom and IT, Nairobi. Malcolm Gogi, second year, Law, Nairobi. David Kimaro, second year, French and Literature from Taveta. And the Zane Scholars team from the International Medical and Technological University, Tanzania. Naudu Lemkopi, third year medicine, Chalinze. Emerenciana Mahu, third year medicine, Dar es Salaam. Ivan Seno, fourth year medicine, Naro. A very warm welcome to both our teams. This year, you and your universities will share over one million US dollars in individual, institutional, and travel grants. The outright winners will take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy plus 5,000 US dollars each plus 50,000 US dollars for their university, all courtesy of Zane. <laughs> and if you're watching at home, we won't leave you out of the action because you too can play and win the Zane game. A review of the rules. There'll be three rounds of face-off and bonus questions, followed by the final 60-second speed round that is the ultimate challenge. Each of you will take up the center position to answer face-off questions on your own without conferring. If you answer a face-off correctly for 10 points, your whole team can help you to answer the bonus question for 20 points. First in center position for Kenyatta University is Albert, Kenya, land of safaris, also land of sport. Yeah. Talk to us of sport. Okay, of late, my favorite Kenyan sport, you can say, is rugby sevens. Because we've been beating big teams, New Zealand, Australia, even South Africa. So I'm showing like the next two years will be the best in the world. The message has been heeded. Yeah. Daoud, from the International Medical and Technological University in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Yes. You're all set to become a man of medicine. Yes. Would you like to tell us about initiatives undertaken by your country in the field of medicine? Yes, our government have been implementing several strategies on improving the uh, health sector in our country, uh, such as uh, uh, giving loans to the students who are taking uh, several courses and uh, giving uh, first priority to the medical field, and uh, also uh, uh, creating several uh, ways of uh, um, uh, improving health sectors, such as building different uh, health sectors, such as dispensaries, clinics, and etc. You'll have to build a base for your team by choosing a category. Yeah. You won the toss to start earlier on. Have yes. a look at our first four categories. And they are African capitals, <coughs> geometry, <coughs> initial impulse, <coughs> military matters. Daoud, choice of category, please. African capitals. It is. Luanda, Lusaka, Lome. Which African capital has the largest population? <coughs> Kenyatta University. Lusaka. No, I'm turning it over to IMTU. Luanda. Yes, for 20 bonus points, <coughs> 10 points apiece. Luanda, Lusaka, Lome. One, which African capital is in the largest country? Uh, Luanda. Correct. And which is not located in a country bordering the DRC? Lome. It's correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 30. 
Dawood. Choice of category, please. African Capitals. It is. Selected by Hastings Banda in 1975, which city replaced Zomba as an African national capital? I am to you. Uh, Lusaka? No, I'm turning it over to KU. Lilongwe. It's correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. Lilongwe is a trading center for which chief export crop from Malawi? Tobacco. It's correct. And two. Which other name of President Banda adorns the Lilongwe airport and the stadium in Blantyre? Hastings Kamuzo. Correct for 20 points, bringing you a total of 30 points equal. Albert, choice of category, please. African capitals. Capitals it is. The Kwame Nkrumah Mausoleum is a revered site in which capital city on the Gulf of Guinea? KU. Accra. It's correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, zoo, library, theater. Nkrumah's estate is now which? Library. No, I'm afraid it's a zoo. Two, which American author and advocate of pan-Africanism is also buried in Accra? William Dubois. That is correct. For 20 points, bringing your total to 50 against IMTU's 30. Albert, choice of category, please. African capitals. African capitals it is. Which national capital city is on the island of Bioko near Cameroon? I'm to you. I'm, t I'm turning it over to KU. Equatorial Guinea. No, the correct answer is Malabo is the island. Albert, choice of category, please. Military matters. Military matters it is. Which superpower's unified military command for Africa, AFRICOM, became operational on the 1st of October 2008? I'm to you. Turning it over to KU. USA. That is correct for 20 bonus points. Unlike other US military commands, AFRICOM is headquartered not in Africa, but in Stuttgart, in which European nation? In Germany. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 80 against IMTU's 30. Choice of category, please, Albert. Military matters. It is. Which small Portuguese-speaking nation of West Africa foiled a planned coup by the head of its navy in August 2008? KU. Guinea-Bissau. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. In February, Professor Giles Ungbak Porn fled after criticizing King Bumibol. It, one, in which Southeast Asian kingdom? Thailand. Is correct. And two, to which country did he flee? Australia. No, he fled to England. Ten points, giving you a total of 100 against IMTU's 30. Albert, choice of category, please. Military matters. Military matters, it is. In September 2008, a Ukrainian cargo ship carrying tanks to Kenya was hijacked by pirates from which nation? IMTU. Russia. No, I'm turning it over to KU. Somalia. It's correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Somali pirates found themselves outgunned when which two world powers sent the warships Nostrashimi and Howard to Somalia? Russia and USA. That is correct for 20 points. End of round one. The score stands at 30 points for IMTU, 130 for KU. Now, whenever a team makes its first appearance on the Zane Africa Challenge, we think our viewers right across the continent should find out something about its university. Here now is a profile of Kenyatta University in Nairobi, Kenya. Kenyatta University became a full-fledged university in 1985, offering faculties in humanity and social sciences, visual and performing arts, education, pure and applied sciences, engineering and technology, environmental studies, applied human sciences, agriculture, and enterprise development and law. KU is an institution that caters for students requiring special needs. People from Kenyatta University are fun, and of late it's becoming one of the greatest school in Kenya. It has a lot of opportunities to offer. Kenyatta University's mission is to provide quality education and training, promote scholarship, service, innovation, and creativity, and inculcate moral values for sustainable individual and societal development. We sound good, Kenyatta University. We are named after a prominent African statesman, so we are the real African deal. Scenes from the campus of Kenyatta University, Kenya. Onwards, onwards, round two. The score stands at 30 for the International Medical and Technological University of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, against 130 for Kenyatta University. We have two new face-off players. Malcolm for Kenyatta University. Sports. Swimming. Swimming is yours. Yes. Well, swimming in Kenya is relatively new, but trust me, after last year where we won the 
All Africa Games and we made a record, an Olympic record actually, by Jason Dunford for about not more than an hour, albeit a record all the same. I'd say we are making a splash in as far as this sport is concerned. Right, and therefore breaking the myth that perhaps people in this part of the world can't swim? Oh, trust me, we can swim. <laughs> I am to you. It's going to take me a while to say Emerenciana, correct? Yeah. Yes. Let's keep it to Emma. Emma, another Tanzanian medical initiative. Well, the government is trying to eradicate filariasis, which uh, causes elephantiasis. And what it's doing is that they are doing um, mass communication and they're educating people about um, controlling mosquitoes, which is a vector for this disease. And again, each year, once per year, they give free drugs for prophylaxis for this disease. So we are doing our best. You're going to do your best to choose a category, Emma. Yes. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are African kings and queens. Next question, oil. Where in the world? Where in the world? It is. The slow movement of the Earth's continents relative to each other is known as continental what? I am to you. Crest. Over to you. Drift. Kenyatta. Drift is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One. Which part of the pastry also names the outermost shell of the Earth? Crust. Is correct. Two. Which sphere of that shell and upper mantle is named from the Greek for rock? Lithosphere. Is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 160. Malcolm, choice of category, please. Where in the world? It is. The equator passes through the mainland of both Africa and which other continent? KU. South America. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Name the two continents which are completely separated from all other continents by oceans. Antarctica and Australia. Yes, 20 points, bringing your total to 190 against IMTU's 30. Malcolm, choice of category, please. Where in the world? Where in the world it is. Which large Egyptian peninsula forms a land bridge from Africa to Southwest Asia? KU. Suez. No, I'm turning it over to IMTU. The correct answer is Sinai. Malcolm, choice of category, please. African kings and queens. African kings and queens it is. Ethiopian tradition says that Israel's King Solomon fathered the son of which legendary queen? KU. The Queen of Sheba. Is correct for 20 bonus points. That son, Menelik, is said to have bought which chest containing the Ten Commandments to Ethiopia? The Ark of the Covenant. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 220. Malcolm, choice of category, please. African kings and queens. Kings and queens it is. Nandi was the mother of Shaka, founder and ruler of which warrior empire of southern Africa? KU. The Zulu Empire. Correct. Yes. For 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Langeni, Sengangakona, Dingane. Which was one of Shaka's half-brothers who slew him? Dingane. Correct. His father, a Zulu chief. Langeni. No. Senzangatoka. Malcolm, choice of category, please. African kings and queens. African kings and queens. The 16th century Queen Amina ruled Zazau, a land of the Hausa people in what is now which West African nation? I am to you. Mali? No, I'm turning it over to KU. Nigeria. It's correct. That flash of lightning heralds a sane super bonus question for 30 points rather than the usual 20. It's in a special category, which today is African TV. Please watch your screen. Which of these housemates won the first Big Brother Africa? D. 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 Your answer, please. D. D. Yes. Two, who went on to become a famous TV presenter? A. Yes. Which was the first evicted from season three? B. Yes. All three correct, bringing your total to 280. Malcolm, choice of category, please. African kings and queens. Kings and queens it is. Mandates by the League of Nations led to a transfer of German-controlled African colonies after which global conflict? KU. World War I. That is correct, for 20 bonus points. The League of Nations also mandated that much of the Middle East be relinquished by which Islamic empire that ceased to exist in 1922? The Ottoman Empire. It's correct for 20 points. End of round two. The score stands at 30 points for the International Medical and Technological University of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, against 310 for Kenyatta University, Kenya. Now, by way of international introduction, let's place the spotlight on the International Medical and Technological University, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. 
The International Medical and Technological University, or IMTU, was established in the East African city of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania and opens its doors for higher learning in 1995. IMTU offers courses in medicine, nursing, dental sciences, technology and management studies. This is a medical school. Ever since I was a child, I was dreaming to be a medical doctor. It is a bit young, uh, almost about eight years old, and uh, this gives me an opportunity to be among the pioneers. The university has taken into account the need for development of the physical aspect of a comprehensive personality growth. I, I had finished my Form 6, and then I was waiting at home, and I was tired of staying at home. And then I found out that they were taking a semester in between, that is in March, and I was like, wow, now this is the university that I gotta go. And very few people, which means more concentration. Those were scenes from the campus of the International Medical and Technological University, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. This is the moment to acknowledge our educational partners. The ministries of education in the competing countries and all the participating universities themselves. Thank you all very much for your support. <laughs> onwards, onwards. The score stands at 30 for the International Medical Technological University of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, against 310 for Kenyatta University, Kenya. David in center position for Kenyatta University, Kenya and sports. Ready, steady, go. The sport is athletics and Kenya is known worldwide for its prowess in athletics. And we did not disappoint in the previous Olympics where we were the top country in Africa, where we bagged 14 medals. And I'm sure in the next Olympics or even in the, in the next championships, we will not disappoint. Well, don't boast too much, it might bring you bad luck. <laughs> Ivan, from the IMTU in Tanzania, medical advances by the Tanzanian government. Another one of the medical advances by the Tanzanian government has been in the control of trachoma. It is an unfatal disease, but it does result in very many cases of blindness if it is not controlled. And uh, the government instituted a very simple method of controlling it, educating the community, and provision of clean water for the children to be able to wash their faces so as to be able to control the disease. Well, I hope you don't place yourself at risk by choosing our next category. Have a look at our four new categories, and they are bodily fluids, FIFA Awards 2008, misspelled words, rocketry, and space flight. Bodily fluids. It is. When you cry, which fluid is produced by the lacrimal glands above the eyes? KU. Tears. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, fluid washing the eyes usually passes through ducts into which other organ? The nose. Yes. Two, what is the funny name for the aqueous and vitreous fluids in the eyeball? Humor. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 340. David, choice of category, please. FIFA Awards 2008. FIFA Awards it is. Which Portuguese player was FIFA's world player 2008? I am to you. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, for 20 bonus points, five points apiece. Who were the four other nominees? Two from Spain, one from Argentina, and the 2007 winner from Brazil? Fernando Torres. Yes. Lionel Messi. Yes. And Ronaldinho. No, and Kaka. 10 points, bringing your total to 50. Ivan. Choice of category, please. Bodily fluids. Bodily fluids it is. Which condition of abnormal hormone levels in the blood has varieties called type 1, type 2, and gestational? I am to you. Diabetes. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. Type 1, type 2, gestational. 1. Which adult onset type of diabetes is associated with obesity? Type 2. Yes. 2. Which type is a common complication of pregnancy? Gestational. That is correct for 20 points, bringing your total to 80. Ivan, choice of category, please. Bodily fluids. Bodily fluids it is. Digestion of fat is aided by which yellowish green substance created in the liver that also describes someone's bad temper? I am to you. Bile. That is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. The ancient Greeks identified four vital fluids in the human body, blood, Phlegm, and which two colored biles? 
Time up. Black and yellow. Ivan, choice of category, please. Bodily fluids. Fluids it is. Filtered at nodes, which L word names a colourless fluid circulating through the body outside of the blood vessel? I am to you. Lymph. Is correct for 20 bonus points, 10 points apiece. One, lymph nodes are filled with lymphocytes, one type of blood cell of which colour? White blood cells. Yes. Two, T cells are a type of lymphocyte produced in which T organ? Thymus. Is correct for 20 points. Bringing your total to 120, catching up slowly. Ivan, choice of category, please. Misspelled words. Misspelled words it is. Which word is misspelled? In the captain jumped when lightning struck the schooner. I am to you. Lightning. Yes. For 10 points apiece, these food words are misspelled. Spell them correctly. One, asparagus. A-S-P-R-A-G-U-S. No. A-S-P-A-R-A-G-U-S. Two, broccoli. B R O C O L I. No. B R O double C O L I. Ivan, choice of category, please. Misspelled words. Misspelled words it is. Which word is misspelled in a meteorite crashed into the cemetery? Sem K U? Cemetery. Is is yes. For twenty bonus points, ten points apiece. These geological terms are misspelled. Spell them correctly. One. Granite. G, G R A. N I T E. Yes. Two. Pumice. P U M I C E. Yes. Twenty points, bringing your total to three hundred and seventy. End of round three. <laughs> the score for both teams stands at one hundred and thirty now for IMTU against three hundred and seventy for KU. We'll be back to play the ultimate challenge when either team has its last chance to win. But first, here's your chance to play and win the Zane game. This SMS game is open to Zane customers only. The first three correct players win a Zane goodie bag with two polo shirts, hat, mug, and 1,000 Kenya shillings in Zane airtime. The question for today is, how much did Pamela Jalimo receive for winning the IAAF Golden League jackpot? Again, how much did Pamela Jalimo receive for winning the IAAF Golden League jackpot? Is it A, 1 million US dollars, B, 500,000 US dollars, or C, 100,000 US dollars? SMS your answer to 888. Choose A for 1 million US dollars, B, 500,000 US dollars, or C, 100,000 US dollars. SMS your answer to 888. Winners will be called and advised on how to collect their prizes. Happy playing, everybody. And now for the ultimate challenge. One last chance for each of the teams to win. You've got 60 seconds to answer 10 questions as a team in the category of your choice. Speed is of the essence. You can answer or pass on any question. Every correct answer is worth 50 points. If you answer all 10 correctly, each of you will win an extra 500 US dollars in cash. The score stands at 130 for the International Medical and Technological University of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania against 370 for Kenyatta University, Kenya. But it's still anyone's game because the ultimate challenge is worth 500 points. I am to you, you're behind, so you play first. Remember, the ultimate challenge is the ultimate choice. Have a look at our four final categories, and they are trigonometric functions, a world of corporations, literature at the cinema, going green. A world of corporations. Corporations it is. Take a deep breath, lady and gentlemen. Name <clears throat> the major international corporation that fits the clue. And seconds away, in 2008, the world's largest revenue automaker. Pass. General Motors. No. Home of the Big Mac hamburger. McDonald. Yes. By revenue, the world's largest aerospace and military corporation. Boeing. Yes. 
From South Korea, the world's largest electronics Sony. brand. No. The world's food and drink sales leader from Switzerland. Coke. No. The world's leading athletic shoes and equipment. Nike. Yes. Once the world's largest insurer saved by the US government in 2008. AIG. Yes. Software giant founded by Paul Allen and Bill Gates. With Microsoft. Yes. The world's number one steel company, Arcelor what? Steel. No. From Sweden, the world's second largest heavy duty truck maker. Scania. No. In 2008, the world's largest revenue automaker. Toyota. Yes. From South Korea, the world's largest electronics brand. Samsung. Yes. World's food and drink sales leader from Switzerland. Pass. Pass. The world's number one steel company, Arcelor what? Metal. Yes. From Sweden, the world's second largest heavy duty. Time's up. You answered eight questions correctly, giving you 400 points from the ultimate challenge, giving you a grand total of 530. Let's see the ones that you got wrong. Food leader is Nestle, truck maker Volvo. Kenyatta University, at this stage in the game, you have 370 points. You need 160 points. And if you answer four questions correctly in the ultimate challenge, you will emerge as winners. So which of the three remaining categories might you choose? Going green. Going green it is. Gentlemen, take a deep breath. All about the color green and green things. And seconds away, green, Hawksville. Yes, Mr. Green, singer for Niles Barkley. Al Green. No. Countries whose flag... Libya. Libya. Yes. A greenish-blue primary colour. Red's complement. Purple. No. An enclosed structure for protecting... Greenhouse. Yes. Seth Green played Scott Evil in this Mike Myers movie franchise. Austin Fowler. Yes. Good. English primary... Greenish blue Barrett. Green. Yes. A name for calcium oxide that can also name a shade of green. Pass. Lame. Shade named after an oil berry Mediterranean fruit. Olive. Yes. One guy in my life, yes. Mr. Green, singer for Niles Barkley. Green, green. No. A greenish blue primary color, red's compliment. Yellow. No. A name for calcium. Yes. Good. Mr. Green, singer for Niles Barkley. Feel green. No. A greenish blue primary color, red. No. Mr. Green, singer. Pass. No. A greenish blue primary color. Time's up. You too answered eight questions correctly for 400 points, bringing your grand total to 770 and making Kenyatta University, Kenya, the winner of today's Zane Africa Challenge. <laughs> Let's look at the ones that you got wrong. Niles Barkley, CeeLo, greenish blue color, cyan. The International Medical and Technological University of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, Batimbaya and Wenzangu, we have to say goodbye to you. You'll be taking away 500 US dollars each, plus 5,000 dollars as an institutional grant for your university. Kenyatta University, Kenya, Bongezi, Hongera, well done, well won. We look forward to seeing you in another round. You're still in the running to take away the prestigious Zane Scholars Trophy and, as outright winners, 5,000 US dollars each and 50,000 US dollars for your university, all courtesy of Zane. In our next game, the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Nigeria, takes on the University of Cape Coast, Ghana, in the international inter-university battle of brains that is the Zane Africa Challenge. To join us again, from all of us here, it's bye-bye. Till next time.